uh, hi sensei uh, how to understand the purpose of life okay understand the purpose of life see let me ask you one question here okay let me ask you one question why are you here right now in this program you tell me. give me the answer Who yeah to, to to improve uh, how to be uh, how to find this purpose and do the best in that good if i ask the same question to somebody else why is he here he would be giving me a different answer do you agree to that please unmute yourself i'm talking to uh, the gentleman if there is somebody else who is right now in this question and a session if i'm asking the same question to that to that person his answer would be different do you agree oh uh, yeah i agree totally okay so each and every individual has got different approach to what they do now there could be a third person i ask him and i said that i want to see how sensei is answering the question there would be the, the next one i want to see i want to hear sensei's malayalam you got a different purpose do you agree but they all are sitting here they all are going to be here for one hour yeah, yeah, they yeah. all are listening the same thing mm-hmm. but how they process it and their purpose is different similarly when it comes to purpose in life it's entirely different for each and every individual if you are looking for mm-hmm. a coach who can help you he can ask you a lot of questions a lot of questions i'll give one more example why did are you working please be on mute yeah i'm working right now please unmute uh, yourself I, please unmute yourself i'm having a conversation with you so are you working are you getting paid for it okay are you getting paid for it yeah yeah yes you're getting paid for it yes what is the purpose of that money yes what is the purpose of that money that you're earning uh, from i mean uh it's for taking care of my family and uh, making sure that everything is uh, getting fulfilled with that money like that absolutely absolutely there would be somebody who wants that money to buy a house there would be somebody else who wants to make sure that his kids go to the university somewhere else do you agree to that right the money is the money yes, yes, the purpose sure. the purpose behind the money is different am i right do you agree to that yeah yes okay. correct now let's go to your job yes dot do you mind what job you're doing do you mind sharing that Yeah yeah I'm I'm actually working as a, a business analyst uh, with an IT company. Good, very good. Now if I ask somebody else why is he working there? He would be working there for the sake of money. The other person maybe you you are working because you are out of, out of the passion that you want to. You want to see how how uh, the world mm-hmm. is working with what you're doing because it's passion. The other person does not have the passion. You got it. The first person does not have the passion. He just looking mm. for the money side. Whereas your purpose is, I want to learn more because this is a very good company. It's one of the fastest growing company, and I want to learn more about the IT and XYZ. Purpose different. Same person. Mm-hmm. Two people mm-hmm. working side mm-hmm. by side. One working with the intention of money. The other one, it doesn't matter. Even the money is less. I don't matter. I want to learn more. Purpose is different. Mm-hmm. So therefore, mm-hmm. if okay. you ask me the okay. question. what is the purpose of life and how can i find out uh, the purpose in life or your life or if you have a coach if you have a coach you have to sit with a coach and have a conversation for around about 30 minutes and he or she would be able to help you to identify what is a real purpose and what is that you have to do this could be entirely different from the mechanical stuff that we are doing because we are not mechanics we are we are individuals with the blood and bone mm-hmm. and and everything so we all think in a different way so if you have a good yeah. friend it's enough it's not necessary that you have to go for a coach and also if you got somebody who can speak with you who can connect with you and you can connect with that person he would be able to identify what actually you are i should not be using the word actually but who you are what you pro- portrayed outside mm-hmm. may not be the same person inside Yeah, with me you may not be the same yeah, yeah. yeah i know i i know people like doctors and all those things they are working there they're working there but they don't even like to use the word doctor i know somebody who's very close to me he doesn't use the word doctor at all and uh, he doesn't want to introduce himself as doctor why because he may be having something mm-hmm. else. even i i <laughs> am i right do you have somebody like that yeah yes yeah so there yeah, i mean uh, this is the reason why i asked you Yeah, and it is it is normal it is normal because sometimes we, you are thrown into a job or a profession which you are not really into it you may be having the experience or something or you may be having the education behind that but you are not that who you are 
So there should be somebody mm-hmm. who can sit with you, talk to you, connect with you, and explore who you are inside. I mm-hmm. hope I answered your question. You can yeah, say that yeah, to any coach. And I don't say that you have to come to me. I won't say that because this is not a business talk. But look for a coach, look for a friend who is really honest. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sensei. Good Thank day. you very much. Thank you too. Let's go to the next caller, please. Directly to the Hello, question. Sensei. Don't waste your time. Yes, please. Go ahead to the question. Straight away to the question. My question is how to fill communication gap. How to fill communication gap. Now, the communication yeah. itself, communication could be written communication. It could be verbal communication. Communication could be with your hand gesture and so forth, body language and so forth. As they say, the word is only 7% uh, percent of what... <coughs> excuse me. What... <coughs> Excuse me. 7% is only the word that you use. Then comes, uh, I think it is 13% or something. That is how you use the word, the tonality, how I use the word. And the most important thing is the body language. Am I right? Now, yeah. it's, in some countries, the body language that we use, in other countries, it could be an offensive. For some countries, you say, this is good. Am I right? This is right. And also all those things. In some countries, this yes. is money. In some countries, this is money. And in some okay. countries, you should not. in some countries, you should not be showing this. You should. This okay. is an offensive language. It's an offensive language. So therefore, the communication differs from one one country to one country, from one society to another society, from one person to another person. Do you agree to that? Yes, of course. Okay. So now tell me, where do you have a challenge when it comes to communication? Tell me, which which scenario is okay. it? Are Are you yeah. married? Are you married? Yeah, I'm married. Okay. Do you have a communication with uh, a problem with your spouse? No. Do you have kids? No. Do, no, you don't have kids. Do you have family, other family members in your house? Yes. Do you have any any challenge with them when you communicate with them? No. Okay. Do, yeah, are, are, I communicate. Yeah, sir. Sure. Go ahead, please. Yeah. My uh, actually in my professional, if ah. anybody asks questions, uh, mm-hmm. I c- couldn't answer same time. But in uh, answer is in my mind, uh, mm. but I c- couldn't explain for them. Mm. That that doesn't work. that doesn't work yeah, in because, because it's just like having a gold and covered with rock okay. rock and dirt and dirt and dirt and there's a diamond very precious diamond inside same way you have the answer but the answer is covered with something called fear okay in your, yeah in, exactly in your, in your in your case it's a fear it's not about how you yeah, communicate fear. it's it's a fear so the first thing you have to remove is the fear okay only when you remove the fear the action can take place So okay. only when you remove the fear the action can take place now let me give an example if a thief comes to your house a robber comes to your house okay? okay a robber comes to your house to steal something and if you are scared of the robber if you're scared of the robber would you take any action yeah. would you take any action when you're scared of the robber of the thief yes, I, no? i i don't yeah i don't go back of him i just uh, uh, safe to my uh, You will close you will close your eyes you will close yeah. your eyes and you will lay down there yeah of course yeah that's called fear yeah Th- that's called fear you got me but at the same time yeah. if you are somebody who is ready to challenge yourself and you okay. don't have the fear you take away the fear and face the fear you will take action okay. you will take action okay agree? and you may uh, yeah, you may defeat the, you may defeat the robber or so forth do you agree Yes, of course. Therefore, there is a, a covering around all of us, you and me. Yeah. I'm scared of many things. Yeah. I'm scared of height. Yeah. I'm scared of height, but that is nothing to do with my job, so it's okay. So there could be a lot of things which we are covered with, which is called fear. And in your okay. profession, in your profession, if you want to excel in a specific area, for example, the communication, you have to communicate in your job. So therefore, you have to break through this fear. And that can only and only happen if you not practice. I don't use the word practice by doing it. Okay. By doing it, not practicing. Practicing is just like looking in front of the mirror or in front of the camera and doing. That's not what I'm talking here because your scenario is different. If you are scared of speaking or giving answers to anyone, just be straightforward and talk to that person. Talk to X, Y, Z. You have to keep on doing that. Keep on doing. I mean, it has to be not not a a role play, but you have to keep on doing. The more you do, the expert you become. Do you agree to that? How many of you agree? Say I. The more you do, the expert you become. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, so, so, so when are, so, when are you going to take this challenge? 
I'll try to I no, I no, 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 no. Sorry, I sorry, sorry, sorry. No try business sorry. with Farooq Sensei. You know that. I hate the I word try. I don't do the word try. I'll do it inshallah. That's it. I'll do it. Good. Happy? Yeah. Happy? Happy. Happy sir. And one more thing, this fear no, comes let me, let, me, uh, let, let me go to the next yeah. question. Let me go to the next question. Okay, fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please. Next caller, please. Please don't waste your time. Straight away to the question. Don't introduce yourself. No wishing, nothing. Straight away to the question, please. Sensei? Yes, please. Uh, it took me a long haul these years to understand where I have to stick on and what's, uh, what's my, uh, you know, platform feel is. Louder, louder, a little more. A little more louder, Nasira. I think that's the name I can see here. Yes, I please. Understand. Yeah. Uh, Sensei, uh, it took me a lot of years uh, to understand what's my uh, feel is like where I have to work on to make it as a career. Okay. So I don't want to waste. Uh, my kids are six years old uh, mm. currently, so I don't want to uh, waste their whole years doing a graduation or something like that. They, they are not value. Later they are not getting any anything from beneficial as uh, from that. So mm. how can I train them uh, to uh, understand uh, what's their you know field is like and where they have to go so how can i train from this age itself uh, mm. to not getting wasted their whole life uh, finding out that particular thing okay good how old are, how old are your child children uh, six years old okay you got one am i right no i have twins uh, so they are six years old okay great both. excellent are you a graduate uh, yes i'm i'm a b-tech graduate uh, why did you do the graduation uh, I have took a BTEC in biomedical and I completed my training also. Mm. Then I have did nothing with it. Okay. That was your choice. Do you agree to that? That was your choice that you did yes. your graduation in this one. There are a lot of opportunity here in the marketplace. However, you didn't go for this, ma this opportunity. You took something else. That was your choice. Do you agree to that? Yes, yes. Okay. In my case also, I did economics, but I never used economics in my life. But at the same time, when I went to aviation, I did 100% of that. Because I choose, because your life, you choose your life. I choose my life. Everyone, every leader who is watching me right now, they choose their life. How many people do we have right now? We got Okay, we got 89, 89 leaders right now. All of them have chosen their own life. Don't you think that your child also has to choose his or her life? Uh, definitely, uh, definitely, it is their choice, completely their choice. But uh, how can I help them to, uh, you know, uh, reach there? So that's my question. Very simple. Support them. If your son, if your son is good at football, would you ask him to stop and do his studies? Yes or no? Give me the question. I... If your son is good at football, he's playing football. Day and night is playing for you, you'll step out and what would you say? Don't don't play and focus on your studies. Is that right? Uh, I'm not that kind of a mother, definitely. I'm not. So what what is that you will do? I I will give a training or something like that. Uh, he wants. I will be uh, allowing them, allowing him to do something like that. That's or exactly that's exactly that what you have to do. That's exactly what you have and, to do. That's exactly what you have to do. If you are able to identify the talent in your children and support them, ignite the, the spark within them and support them, that's only, the time that only then you will be able to create fire or flame in them. Do you agree? Yes. If you say no, do your studies, you're pouring water, you're extinguishing the fire. Do you agree to that? Uh, yes. And, so identify, uh, identify the spark in your children. Whether it is studies, whether it is games, whether it's sports, whether it is whatever it is, you identify them. Do not compel them to take your side. Whatever you're doing, whatever is your passion, don't bring them outside. Rather, support them, whatever talent they have. Now, the talent could be, you also have to see the talent. Some talent can bring money, some talent can't bring money. Do you agree to that? Yes, definitely. Okay. So you also have to be very careful about it. If there is some sort of talent which will never bring money or which will never bring a healthy family or will not bring a healthy situation, then you should step in a little and say, what is the benefit you're going to get out of this? Do you with me? So there you have to step in. And number two, if he is into a particular sports or games and he is not up to the mark, then again you have to step in. 
Okay. Then again, you have to step in and say, either you become the top so that you can make this as your career. You take your passion, you take your passion, make it a profession. That's fine. That's okay. But if it's not up to the mark, and here also he's zero, then you should be stepping in. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you one thing. A person can be zero in his studies. A person can be zero in his talent. That doesn't mean that he's going to be zero in his life. How many of you agree to that? A person can be zero in his studies, zero in everything, but that doesn't give you any sort of guarantee that that person is going to be zero in his life. He would be the champion tomorrow in life. Who knows? You're with me? Whoever you are. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you as a mother, you have to always watch your children, what they are doing, and make sure that you support them, help them to move forward. That's your responsibility. Yeah. Exactly. Make sure the way is clear for them. Okay. okay. Happy? No, thank you, Sensei. Thank you very much. Happy? Yes or no? Happy, very happy. Good. Now, why do I ask this question, happy? I'll tell you why. Because I'm talking to one individual. I'm not looking at 100 people here right now. I'm not looking at that. I'm talking to one single individual. There could be 90 different answers. Hey, Sensei is telling wrong. Sensei is telling wrong. That's not the answer uh, he should be saying. I'm not bothered about you. I'm bothered about the person who asked me the question. How many of you got it? They got it. I'm not bothered about the 90 and 100 people who are sitting watching me and thinking and processing their thoughts in a different way because you are different. I'm different. The person who's asking me, he or she is getting the answer. That's exactly what you have to focus on. Okay. And when you're speaking, when you become a coach tomorrow, that's exactly what you have to follow. Not about the 100 people who are watching you live right now. There could be a lot of people who would, who would be against me. That's fine. I'm answering, I'm giving the solution to one person. Thank you very much. Are you happy? Let me come. Yes, very you. happy. Thank Good. you, Nancy. Thank you very much. Let's go to the next caller, please. Straight away to the question. No beating around the bush, please. You got round about uh, yeah, ten minutes more in English, please. Uh, I feel like I'm aged when I'm in terms of learning and all. Yes. You see, yeah. see, I'm I'm in my thirty, but I want to do. PhD, but thinking about the PhD and uh, learning uh, religious books and all, I feel like, oh, it's already late. I, now it's not possible. It's like that. Mm -hmm. In terms of learning, especially. Mm -hmm. and what, what, what's, what's your age? 30. 3 zero? Ah, yeah. Man, I'm 28 years older than you. You're just half of my age. Whoever you are. <laughs> I'm the double the age of you and I have studied even today in the morning. You got me. Are you passionate about doing what you want to do? Are you passionate about what you want to do, whether it's a PhD or whatever? Are you passionate about it? Uh, yeah. Uh, zero to ten. How passionate are you? Seven. Seven. Uh, are, are, are you ready to give your time, effort and money for that? Yes. Do you value your education, your, your qualification, which you're going to get after the studies and also those things? Yeah. Do, why do you do that? Is it for getting respect or why, why do you want to do? Give me one answer in one sentence. Why do you want to do your PhD? Give me the answer. I want to learn more. That's all. I, I, I have a particular subject in my um, mind that I want to learn more about that subject. Okay. Let's say this is the subject that you want to learn. And this is a PhD. PhD is a big mountain standing here. Okay. okay. Is it learning? Or is it getting that PhD? Tell me what. Give me one answer. Is it learning? Uh, learning, learning. Learning. Then forget about the PhD. Okay. Forget about the PhD. How many of you agree to that? Say a type L. Why do you have to go for a PhD? I don't have a PhD, my dear friend. I don't have a PhD. I got my doctorate. I don't use that. I throw. I. I don't keep that in my office itself. I don't use doctorate. I used it for two years. Then I got fed about it because everyone started calling me doctor. I said, I, I don't want to be addressed as doctor. I want to be addressed as sensei because my name is something that I allow. But at the same time, I'm teaching and training and coaching and mentoring doctors. You got the difference. It's not about the degree that you have. It is what the knowledge that you want and how can you impart the knowledge to the world. So are you ready to learn? That's yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, when, yeah, are I'm you ready. Gonna, when are you going to start learning? Today. Today. What what is, uh, yeah. is there any word? If, uh, age does matter in terms of learning. It's, uh, when we are uh, in 30, will that uh, learning capacity reduce? No, no it, it only increase. Your okay. capacity of learning will increase based on the age and based on the value that you give for your learning. 
nothing with the age if you give value to the learning and if you love what you want to learn with passion it doesn't matter okay. it doesn't matter you can keep on learning so are you ready to learn that's my question are you ready to learn yeah i am ready okay just go and select the book whichever you want whatever subject now one thing that i would uh, I, i don't like advising but let me tell you one thing the more you teach the more you learn do you agree to that yeah whatever you learn make sure that you teach that to somebody else with or without money forget about the money coming in because you love learning is that right yes can you teach that to somebody even if you got kids have you got kids yeah okay, four months ago teach them teach them mm. okay okay or write a note share that in social media it doesn't matter yeah would yeah able, would you be able to do the challenge yeah surely when can you start the challenge today itself i i will start good. sharing yeah i used to share but nowadays i stopped like actually you should you should be having a journal okay have a journal with you okay. and then start putting this time at this time i'm going to post this this time i'm going to post this time i'm going to read and learn and this time i'm going to share that would you be able to do that on a regular basis yeah surely when today itself what time mm uh 2 o'clock is it indian standard time singapore or london indian indian very good are you happy yeah happy thank you very much thanks a lot let's move on to the next please sanji yes please good morning uh i have a question like how do you uh, uh find up a solution when you are in a critical situation Okay am I am I in a critical situation right now 100 people watching me from from all over the world am I in a critical situation yes or no Yes yes but I'm still I'm able to answer the question yes or no Correct correct The reason is very simple because I'm relaxed How many of you agree just oh. uh, type the word type the letter r If you want to have any solution to any problem I don't use the word problem for me problem is a negative word I hate that word I use challenge If you want to face any challenge if you want to move away from the challenge if you want to overcome the challenge if you want to break through the challenge relax Relax Once you relax you your brain starts working If I'm tense if I'm thinking about the 100 people here right now watching me and what is the question that's going to come who is going to ask me the question I just don't want your name I don't know who you are I don't know from where you're calling I don't want to know that The question is relax Just relax When you relax the brain starts working Did I answer your question uh, I just wanted to add it add one one more question to this like uh, for me what i do like uh, when i have uh, when i am in the situation um, i always think uh, some solutions in my mind and uh, maybe i will come up with some uh, solution uh, but again i will discuss with some of my close uh, friends or partner and all mm. maybe they have some other uh, suggestion mm. but when uh, then we will have some arguments and all based on now my decision and their decision and what happens uh, maybe i will fall in with uh, their decision mm. without maybe i am not i am not satisfied with their decision but somehow i will go with that yeah somehow you you go go with their decision because uh, you have given the control to them is it right um yeah finally end up with that also Okay that now there are two reasons number one you give the control to the other person because whatever they say you feel that that's right so let me go am i right yes yes so here is something that i'm going to explain to you i want everyone to write o o o o four o's please everyone since you came up with this i was not uh, supposed to say but let me just give you something i want to write all of you four o the first one is obstacle whenever you find an obstacle in your life I'm going to just debrief what this gentleman said right now the leader who said right now if there is an obstacle in your life don't do things if you think that's bigger than you don't do it yourself don't do it yourself that's where you collect the second o which is called options you collect options with the best people who can give you support and help to overcome the first o which is an obstacle when you get different uh of what you call um, options you get new opportunity wow this works this works this works and you delete all the remaining options you take maybe two or three options which becomes an opportunity for you which you never thought before the obstacle and you now develop that opportunity and the opportunity gives you an entirely new outcome the fourth 
is outcome so first one is obstacle number two is options number three is opportunity and number four is outcome now remember obstacles are always good in your life how many of you agree say agree IG, I agree. Obstacles are always good in your life because they will take you to an entirely new uh, vertical, a new place which you never ever thought before you face the obstacle. So, relax yourself. Did I answer your question? Yes, yes, yes. Happy? Yeah, yeah happy, happy. Good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go to the next caller. Please, we, I'll take one more question in English then we'll be moving on to Malayalam. One more question in English. Uh, what are the best qualities we needed uh, to become a good human? The first thing, the first and the foremost, and I would say, which is going to remain till the end, which I follow, and I'm very strict. If I use the word, though it's a negative word, I'm damn strict on this one. It's called integrity. When you have integrity, you become honest. When you're honest, people will start trusting you. When people start str uh, trusting you, only when there's a consistency in your behavior and habit and so forth. So everything start with integrity. Integrity is not about showing people who you are. Integrity is about promising and committing to yourself who you should be. That's integrity. Integrity is like having hundreds of a live CC camera around you, whether you are here in front of the public or you're all by yourself in a dark ditch dark deep ditch still you maintain that integrity because you feel that there are hundreds of camera inside this dark ditch knowing who i am and 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 focusing on who i am if you have that sort of belief it doesn't matter where you are you will be the right person you will be the right human being to answer your question thank you so much one quality thank you thank you so much happy are you happy with that? Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm very strict. Yes, yes. I'm very strict in, 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 in my deeds. Nobody, I hate people telling lies. Nobody in my house is allowed to tell lies. Even if it is in the case of a joke, I hate it. I hate like anything. I mean, sometimes even stop the relationship with that person. I hate it. And I don't tell lies. Knowingly, I won't tell lies. Unknowingly, it may happen, which I don't know, because we are human beings. However, if somebody is telling lies, even in the sake of a joke, pulling legs, I hate it. So make that a practice, because your kids are seeing you, and you become the role model. Are you are you married? Are you married? Yes, sir. I'm married. Okay. Uh, how yes, old yes. is your eldest son, uh, child? Uh, um... Four, four and a half years. Four and a half years. Is he learning from you? Is he learning? Yeah. Uh, I'm teaching a uh, little. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. He's learning. He, 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 you are his role model, am I right? You are his role of model. Of course, yes. Be a role model for your child. If so, you can, if that, you that's can, I am thinking. I'm, yeah, please go ahead. Uh, sorry. Go ahead, uh, go ahead. That's why I'm thinking I need to be a big, a good human before this, so I can to be a good role model for them. Is it is it a son or a uh, daughter? A daughter. I have two daughter. One is uh, now. Now listen to this. One. Now listen one to this. One. All, uh, all year. Now I want everyone to yeah. listen to this one. If okay. your daughter says, if your daughter says one day when she is uh, young enough. And she says, Papa, I want a husband just like you. That is the biggest certificate that you can get in the world. Papa, I want a That's husband. That's exactly I needed. How many of you agree to say I agree? That is that is what my daughter says. I want a husband like you, Papa. Masha. That's what everyone here has to focus. Okay. If your kids could say that I want a husband just like my dad, you are the you are the winner. That's the biggest certificate you can ever, ever get in your entire life. With that, ladies and gentlemen, let's wrap up with English and now let's move on to Malayalam. Uh, again, make sure Malayalam tila parimu straight to question lake vera oru tarathil wishing or nothing oru oru tarathil religious questions or political questions or choi kada directly question lake vera waste here the time waste here the po. Okay, so let's start with the first caller in Malayalam. <laughs> 